Hello reformers and welcome back to Porizno. Now when we left off we were, we were attempting to take Reichberg so that we could actually acquire that wonderful, wonderful companion. Now as you can see here I haven't really changed too much. All I did was run away, get some hired foot knights, get some hired veteran warriors and all that sort of thing and then come back. And oh lovely I just shot you in the face. That's nice. <laughs> yeah that's what I do. This is what I do, this is what I do, I shoot you in the face, that's what I do, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> try to prevent myself from dealing damage to those guys any further, thank you very much, because we need every single one we can get. At the moment, we have a battle advantage of minus eight. This is only one of the first rounds that I have participated in upon coming back to the area, so what I'm gonna be doing is literally just showing you this and then maybe another round and then other than that I'm just gonna cut out the rest because it's basically the same round over and over and over and you don't want to see that every single time do you so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do those one two rounds and then probably the last two rounds if I can kind of approximate when that's gonna be because obviously at the moment we are having a couple of difficulties with the amounts of units here and I am actually unsure whether we're gonna be able to eliminate the amount that we actually do need to eliminate to get inside. I mean, as you can see here, it's just absolutely chock-a-block full, if you pardon the expression. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I couldn't sound, I couldn't sound more pretentious, could I? I think I probably could, but let's not go there. Let's not go there, but chock-a-block, oh, that's a very English expression, isn't it? Isn't it? I think it is. Anyway, we're gonna be, well, I, I guess just kind of standing here. I mean, there doesn't seem to be much more than I can do. So yeah, it seems like I'm probably just gonna cut away for the near future. Uh, there's Arakanus' sword over there. I think it's actually, is it lying upon that battlement? Yes, it, I think it is. I think he's already been eliminated. Well, that's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Ooh, it seems like we might actually be getting inside to the battlements here. As you can see, many of our... Well, I was not going to say many, but I guess, uh, yes. I was hopeful by the time I said many, there would be many in there. And you know what it, You know what happens? You know, when, when you think it, or when you wish it, it's going to happen. It's going to just go into the universe, and the universe is going to be like, denied. <laughs> No, it's going to be like, yes, yeah, there you go. He thought it, so this is what's going to happen. That is what I hoped would happen at the very least. But, it, yeah, it seems like... Oh, oh, no, no, it does actually seem like that's happening. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Now, we have been subject to some rather, well, rather disastrous casualties so far. And by that, I mean many of our hired foot knights have been actually killed. Now, I don't know why they always get killed, as you can see here. I mean, there's another one that has just been killed. And you think to yourself, well, why do my most powerful units always get killed? You know, I mean, yes, okay, sometimes the veteran warriors, they might become unconscious or something like that. Oh yeah, by the way, I do apologize about this, this warping around of the units and things like that. I'm not entirely sure what is causing that. Personally, I think it is due to many of the units that we currently have here merging into each other and I think their parving is kind of glitching out a little bit so I do apologize about that if it is giving you a problem with your vision it's certainly giving me a bit of a problem with my vision but yes hopefully it's not going to be too visible on the video but anyway did you just see there the couple of extra casualties just before this batch of unconscious ones they literally were killed in a row. There was like five of them that died in a row, and you just think to yourself, really? Really, game? Come on now. Come on. Why why, why, why do that to me? Why do that? Ah, oh, well, never mind. Doesn't matter too much because we do now have an absolutely clear shot to eliminate the remaining units in this fief without too many difficulties. Let's just see whether I'm actually able to get a couple of kills. Oh, no, not too bad. Let's get some samurai arrows. I did see some samurai arrows back here. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, 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 yep, yeah, there we go. Thank you very much for the 26 arrows. Oh, yes. That is wonderful. That is really, really nice. Okay, so, can I, can I hit someone? Or, yep, yeah, there, there we go. Nice. Can I get a couple of kills? Nah, it seems like this is, yeah, this day is most likely awarded to our foot knights. Oh, oh, here we go. 
Ah, oh, this is a lovely place to be. Oh yes, shoot you in the kneecaps. That's what we're doing. <laughs> oh my, we're evil. We're very evil to shoot them in the kneecaps, aren't we? And it's it's even eviler. Yes, eviler. It's even eviler to literally kill them with kneecap shots, isn't it? I mean, I don't think you can die from a kneecap shot, not unless you bleed out, but yes, that's what they're doing here. Some of them are, at the very least. Some of them have much better armor than we thought, but yeah, well, it's not too bad, I suppose. Oh yeah, by the way, I think what we need to begin doing is probably moving towards getting ourselves much more relation with the other elvish lords. Because at the moment, that really is something that I think would be really, really advantageous. Because obviously, eventually we do want to overthrow the queen, or at the very least we want to try to do that. But, oh yeah, let me just tell you, I did actually attempt in a previous episode, between, between two previous episodes, I did attempt to speak to our wife about potentially betraying the queen or advancing our standing in this realm and so on and so forth. And, well, she gave me a task to go and speak to two lords and try and reconcile them. And I, I just thought to myself, yeah, I don't really want to do that right now. And that doesn't seem to be the way to go when it comes to, you know, actually overthrowing the queen. And the other option, which was, I wish to speak to you privately, you know, that thing. I did that as well, and she said about Queen Arwen, she said, Long may she live! And I was just like, oh, okay, well that's a problem, isn't it? So I have a bad feeling that I probably won't be able to do it unless our wife starts becoming really, really irritated by Queen Arwen in some way or another, so I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be able to pull that off. And if we are, then that's great, but if we're not, then, well, I I, I don't really mind, to be honest, because I actually really like being part of the Elantorans. I really like having literally almost no responsibility in the game, because the only responsibility I basically have is to look after our own fiefs, which is reasonably easy, as we lose three more units to the Grim Reaper's Wrath, which is... Uh, I, I really don't understand why that happens more often to extremely high level units in comparison to lower level units. I, I, I guess it could just be because they are indeed high level units and maybe it's more risk reward sort of strategy, but I don't know. But anyway, the point is, I'm pretty happy with being a vassal at the moment and just basically having to only concentrate on conquering things. I actually quite like doing that. Obviously the kingdom management in Perizno, I am unaware of the kingdom management and whether it is indeed extremely good. I'm pretty sure it is going to be extremely good because per Prisno in general, if you'll excuse my small hiccup there, but yes, Prisno in general is just incredibly well fleshed out. And with the exception of the small battle problems that we've experienced in the past, which apparently can also be fixed by reducing your battle size. And I did actually do that one time and I thought to myself, has this been fixed? And it seemed to be fixed, but then, you know, I, I just started tweaking with other options and all that sort of thing. It doesn't really matter. I, I don't really want to talk about that any further. It's not really worth it, is it? But point is, if you are also having problems with that sort of thing, that you can also reduce the battle size. So that's also something to take into account if you are having the similar problem that I had. Anyway, as you can see here, it seems like most of the enemies are now just Zan peasants. And we should be in a re Oh my... Okay, so, <laughs> as you can see here, we've eliminated over a thousand of them, which I am extremely surprised about. And bear in mind that my difficulty and damage settings are exactly the same. The only thing that is, I think, maybe that I haven't shown you, I actually don't know. I think I did show you that, but basically, the only thing that is a little bit lower than maximum is my own damage taken, because... You know me, I tend to run into things, tend, tend to run into like huge amounts of units, and I've reduced my damage to half. You know, the, the, what is it, the easy setting? Not the very easy one, but the middle setting, whatever that may be. But yeah, that's basically what I've done, and I, I think that's a pretty decent compromise because I'm still able to die, you know, I'm not invincible or anything like that. I mean, as you can see here, I'm invincible against these guys because they're, they're peasants and things, but 
Against higher level units, I can die very, very quickly as I was being shot outside. I did have to use my first aid before I started the recording, so there's also that to take into account. But there you go. That's it. That is fantastic. I'm really, really happy with the... Am I happy with the ratio? I'm not particularly happy with the ratio because we have lost 44 units. 68 renown is our reward for that, and... I, I should think so. Seriously, I should think so. It's about time that we get awarded something fantastic like that. Anyway, 46 hired foot knights were casualties in that. 18 of those were eliminated in total. And, well, then we lost a bunch of Elantoran rangers, of course, which is okay. I don't really feel too bad about losing them because they are quite easy to regain. And then otherwise, as you can see, yes, the Zan were eliminated so heartily. Oh, yes, very nice. And General Chin Min. Yes, he's running away. And, oh, my. We actually... <laughs> We actually get some glorious Knights of the Great Holy Bull. Now, if you've seen the Fred the Farmer series, then you will know that Fred the Farmer, he rides a cow. I don't know whether it's a bull or not. I, I didn't really take too much notice of that. But he rides a cow, as is designated by the, the game itself. It technically is called a cow. But anyway, point is, he rides one. So he must be a forgotten glorious Knight of the Great Holy Bull. That must be what is going on there. Surely. Anyway, let's take all of those. Thank you very much, or as many as I can get. And we'll take all of those. There we go. That is fantastic. All right. So we do have a bunch of these things here. I'm going to take a little... Uh, is, it, is it worth it? <laughs> is it worth it? 154,000 we have, so it's not particularly worth it, I suppose. Am I going to be requesting this? That's the thing. I think I would like to... So, I'm... Okay, so here's the thing. What I would also like to do is I would like to speak to, I believe it is, Archduke or Duke, or one of the Dukes at least, Tyricus. I would like to speak to Tyricus because he currently has ownership over Galway and I would like to be able to swap the fief that I have down in the south in Arulo territory and I'd like to be able to swap that fief for... Galway, and I'm hopeful that he'll be open to that particular swap because that will then mean that Galway will be ours and hopefully the garrison as well because the garrison no doubt is going to be pretty full at this point and then we'll have our very own town which would be wonderful so hopefully we'll be able to pull that off otherwise I'm going to be requesting this I highly highly doubt that Queen Arwen is going to give that to us but you never know Maybe it will be something for us. Okay, so we... Uh, do we own anything here? Do we? No, I don't think we own anything here. And there's only seven available, so I guess I'm just going to do that. There's, it's only 20,000, so why not? And I could buy and prepare cultivated land. Buying a new one co uh, requires 4,000. Okay, so I, I guess I'm just going to spend another 20 there. That sounds good to me. There we go. Okay. I think that's pretty decent, right? That seems like a pretty decent amount. 12 acres of land right there. They're going to continually get us money over time. And do we have anything here, by the way? No, it seems like we don't. Ah, we should rectify that situation. All right. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. I, oh, yes. I forgot about that. It's been a while since I've purchased an Enterprise. So what I do need to do is obviously sell all of my prisoners for 9,500. Not actually that many. Not actually that much for it, but yes, I did neglect to remember that I did need to buy some drinks for people, and now we can, of course, go ahead with this. Alright, so what do we want to do? Well, Weavery and Dye Works is probably going to be the best, but that's only 2,000. An oil press, that's only 2,000 as well. I was hopeful for a little bit more. Maybe a wine press? No, that's not actually good either. So a tannery? No, a tannery is even worse. What about a weavery? Nope. No? Okay, everything is absolutely awful. I, I, come on now, not a mill and bakery. No, that's absolutely awful. No. Alright, so it seems like a weavery and dye works will be for us. And then, uh, well, where do I want to go? I suppose I should go into the castle. 
But here's the thing. I kind of need to rest up, don't I? Kind of need to rest up because many of our forces are eliminated, or at the very least they are unconscious. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's take a look, because we've never seen one of these units before. Let's take a look at the stats of these guys, because no doubt they are going to be real beasts. Well, as you can see, their proficiency is pretty decent. Their weapon master shield, riding, horse archery, of all things, is very, very high. Power strike, of course, as well as iron flesh. And the rest, pretty decent overall. 27 strength and 78 health. And they're level 40, so not bad. Not bad. What are they using here? They're using battle axes, horned knightly helms, and not actually... Wow, their, their torso armor is actually not even that good. And they are riding cows. They are technically riding cows. And their cows are not bad. I mean, the speed is obviously a bit of a factor, but it's not bad otherwise. So, yeah, there you go. Not bad at all. Yes, that is satisfactory. Thank you very much. All right, so Kara has advanced in level as well. As you can see, she has an absolutely insane stat line at the moment. She has 10 in Power Strike, and we can... Uh, well, I don't even know what else to get her. Uh, this is... This is very difficult. I mean, she has 9 in Trainer already, so it's kind of pointless for us to do any more, I suppose. I mean, 10 in Trainer is always useful, but I suppose... Athletics? I guess athletics is probably pretty good, especially in sieges and things. So, yeah, we'll just go with that. Wow, we have a cell sword, huh? Well, it's been been quite a while since we've seen one of those, isn't it? All right, so yeah, I am waiting for the random chance to give me that 36 strength, so I can get an additional point in power draw. That's what my level up is currently for, and yeah, so I, I guess I'm just gonna wait here for about a day. So until August 15th. And then we're probably going to head inside. And, oh, look at that. Leuven has been besieged by Archduke Baladewil of the Elantorans. Very nice. All right, so are we are we ready to go in here? Yeah, well, it's dawn technically, so I suppose I could. Now, where is the task? The mighty quest. High Dragon, aha! This is her, I believe. And there's the Lord. A lord, I'm not entirely sure where he is from. Hello there. Who are you, fool? Why have you come to me without kneeling? I am Consort Scout. My apologies, my lady. I am unaware of your customs. If I may ask, who are you? Very well. I am Kivachis, I, I guess. I, I, I don't know how to say that. One of the three high priestesses of the dragon in the Reich. Hi, Draken Priestess Amara is my twin. Oh, twin sister. And I said tween. <laughs> oh, yes. My question still stands. Why have you come to me? I have come seeking a adventure. Might you have a task? A task? Why, yes. I was just thinking about this earlier. I need a capable band of mercenaries to escort a group of my wyvern riders to Valdeberg. They are on a mission to deliver a letter to the Baron there, and they must reach their destination. Could you possibly lend a hand on this? Sure, but I have some questions. First, why are you trusting me to such an important task already? And second, can't the wyvern riders defend themselves? I have heard they are fearsome fighters along with their mounts. Why am I trusting you? Well, you don't look like a spy or someone who is working for our enemies and know that I can summon the wrath of the entire Reich and all of our dragons and dragon riders to destroy you. The wyvern riders can defend themselves well enough, but... Recently, we have heard reports that our enemies, the sectarian dragon priests, are getting stronger. We can't risk losing valuable wyverns to them. Very well, I will escort the wyverns. All right, well, this is going to be a bit... a bit dicey, I suppose. There are the wyverns, they're following me, and I need to make a very brief trip over to Voldeberg. I suppose we'll do that in the next episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.